Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. It's another bumper show this week with three different applications. Firstly, we'll take a look at Scapple from Literature and Latte, the developers of Scrivener. Now, Scapple is a freeform text editor. It's a bit like a mind mapping application, but without the usual constraints of the rigid structure of a mind map. It's completely freeform in its approach allowing you to get your ideas down with the minimum of fuss and then arrange or connect them later. We'll also take a look at Access Menu Bar Apps, a free utility to remove the problem of seeing all your menu bar icons on laptop displays, finishing off with Video GIF, an application to create animated GIF files. In this section, I'll take you through recording with QuickTime Pro, converting your video into animated GIFs, and how you might embed your animated GIF into a support document using Clarify and make it available on the web. But first, let's take a look at Scapple. Now, Scapple is only available from the Literature and Latte website. So go across to literatureandlatte.com and you can see here it's currently $14.99. There is a 14-day free trial, so you can check it out. I think it works out to about £10. But uh, it's a really neat application. You can see here, uh, sort of gives you an idea of the sort of things you can do. In fact, if we zoom into here, it's sort of like having a big piece of paper uh, which you can zoom in and zoom out of and basically sketch your ideas down. This is the electronic version. So you can see you can uh, format these, you can add images, you can do all sorts of things, uh, make connections between them and drag them around. But, but you'll get more of an idea of uh, the sort of things you can do with it once we actually get started. So I've already uh, installed Scapel. So what I will do is I'll power it up for the first time. And this is our blank piece of paper. Let me just drag this out so it fills the screen. Now, two things it says on screen, double click anywhere to create a note and drag notes onto one another to make connections. It's a really very simple application. Let's start off by actually creating a note. So we'll just double click anywhere. So this is my first note. Uh, while it's highlighted, I'll just uh, type in some contents. And then I can either tap away uh, with the mouse cursor or just hit escape to finish editing. If I want to create a second note, I can go somewhere else, just double tap. Now if I do hit return, I can carry on typing. So there's no limits really. You can type a whole paragraph of text in if you want. And again, to finish editing, just hit escape. So very easy to actually put notes down on the canvas, on the paper, but you can connect them using various types of lines. And it's very simple to connect them. All I do is drag one note to another, let go, and that creates a dotted line between them. And to disconnect those two uh, notes and to delete the line, we just basically drag one note on top of the second note and that will delete the line and break the connection. As well as the standard dotted line, you can create lines with arrows to give you more visual representation of something linking to something else. So if I drag this across to here and then hold down the option key and let go, you'll see I have this uh, arrow head here pointing from the first note to the second note. I'll just do a command and Z to get rid of that. If I want to have the arrow key go in a different way, all I need to do is do Option Command. So drag it on, Option Command and let go, and the arrow head is the other way. Again, uh, well, let's drag that off to clear that. Now, double-headed arrows, very simple. Shift Command and drag, let go. There's my double-headed arrow. Now, you can create notes within a connection line. Uh, I can move this around, so very easily I can move this to anywhere on the page. I can move individual notes around and the line moves with it. But if I want to add a third note and intersect this line, I just double tap on the line and that creates a new note with these two double headed arrows now connecting to the third note. Again, escape, and then I can just drag this or drag any of these anywhere on the page. As you might imagine, there are plenty of keyboard shortcuts and menu options to control some of these actions. For instance, if you want to disconnect the notes, if you want to remove those lines, you can either use the notes menu and then we have a disconnect. So command and less than will also do that. So if we say disconnect, but I'll just do command Z to bring that back. Now you're probably saying to yourself that this is very much like a mind map in that we have the central node and these two other notes coming off it, but it is completely free form. If I just tap anywhere on the page, uh, double tap, I can create a new node. Escape again to stop. If I just tap away and deselect that, I can use keyboard shortcuts as well. So if I do command and return, with that particular note deselected, I can add an additional note. Escape to stop editing, and we'll tap away, and uh, just one more. 
and escape. Now, sometimes it's useful to create uh, multiple notes but stacked on top of one another. And the way we do that is by selecting one of the notes. So I'll leave this one selected and then just do Command Return. That will create a new note directly under the selected note. If I do Command Return again, I get a third one. Now, this is called a stack. Now, if I want to create a stack from existing notes, let's say this one here, which uh, these are both independent at the moment. If I select this one first, and then use Command to select a second one. Go to Notes and say Stack. There's a keyboard shortcut as well. But that will basically just stack all the notes that you've selected under the first note that you selected. Now, stacks have interesting properties. Uh, you can, let's deselect those two. You can select multiple notes just by using a drag command. So uh, I've got those three selected. I can move them around sort of as a group. Okay, I can also, if I take this second note out of the stack, if I remove that from the stack, you'll notice that the third one actually takes its place. So the stack retains the order. So if you've got lots and lots of entries, lots of notes within a stack, and then you take one out, uh, they will reorder themselves appropriately. Uh, something else I didn't mention about adding lines, by the way, let's uh, create a note. I'm gonna create a note next to this one here, this third note. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to select that first. So if I tap on it to select it, then I'm gonna create another note over here. But I'm gonna hold down the option key, double tap, and that creates a new note, but with the arrowed line. So you can select a note, use a modify key and double tap to create a new note and have an arrowed line. Let's take a look at formatting notes now because we're starting to see lots of notes on our page, but uh, they're all very much the same. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day no obligation free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership.